I'm always interested in the Hebrew scriptures where God told the, the farmers, leave the corners of the field for the aliens, for the hungry, uh, for those people. Do not take everything that you have that, that, that you think belongs to you and leave those corners. Uh, and then when we come to the New Testament, of course, Jesus expands on that radically. The constant thing about our responsibility to care for the poor. And Matthew 25, of course, which is a core passage on caring for the least of these. So I would say first that uh, our caring for hungry people and eliminating hunger, which can be done, uh, is, is done out of Scripture, our basis of Scripture. Then the second would be our tradition out of John Wesley. In England, John Wesley advocated enormously for the poor. And not only did he just talk about it, but we saw laws changed and the country really prospered. Well, I think one of the things is to know people who are, that, know people who are suffering. And when you know them, first of all, their story and their life get in your heart. So you advocate, not just because you're uh, a lobbyist, so to speak, but you are advocating out of your own passion. So it comes out of your own passion, your own passionate faith, that every person is made in the image of God, and God desires every person to flourish. So it comes in that way. Too many times we've looked at these issues of hunger and poverty. Oh, we just have to live with it. No, we don't have to live with it. Uh, we are in a continuing prosperous world uh, in, in a variety of places, and that prosperity needs to be shared throughout. Uh, so this can happen, and I'm grateful for the continued, continued work of Bread for the World, and especially David Beckman, as he has so powerfully led this vision, calling for prayer, calling for advocacy, calling for development, and calling for people's hearts to be changed.